Hi there, it's Tanya from Tutty Treasures. So I thought today we'd do something a little bit different. Now, this is my packing box. Um, I use this box for both of my shops for the dream catchers <coughs> and uh, the junk journal shop, Tutty Treasures, and dream catcher one is Tinker Treasures. So this is the box, and in here. I've got a variety of different size bags what I need. I've got some uh, gold ribbon because on the dream catcher shop I do gift wrapping if somebody wants um, gift wrapping because it's a present. I've got some different tissues. So I've got the brown tissues which are for the junk journal shop. The gold and white is for the gift wrapping and i've got some white which i used to use white before i started using the gold um <clears throat> but i will use that up um it's just gone to the end of the box and then here are again some paper bags and these are really uh big ones and then here are my cards where um i send them to people uh, to Patreons or somebody, you know, I want to write a nice note to with happy mail and things like that. So I shall just put that to one side and we'll have a look in my little box. So in here, oh, I've only got one doily. Why I think about it, I'll just go in my box down here with my um, things that I've paper, uh, tea stained and got some more out but you know what i haven't got any <laughs> oh dear i've only got some square ones and i don't want to use square ones for that i want to save those for journals so i will have to tea dye some more of them so i'm glad that i've looked so <clears throat> i sell um my scrap papers let me zoom down a bit now and I put them in a glassine bag and then I put that across the top. Um, these are the tags that I use for the junk journal shop and you'll probably see me make these. So I tea stain them. I think I did them on my desk and showed you. Um, painted the tea on with, with a brush and then I use my stamping platform and I stamped all these leaves on them and I've got some string I'm nearly out of this green string I've really liked this um, and I must order some more so I'll be using brown after today um, keep some scissors in they're not the sharpest scissors um, I bought them from Ikea but I, I bought them when I first started and it was um, you know it's more a photo prop than than anything but they're fine in here um these are the little envelopes the violet made me these um and i use them on the gift wrap ones for the dream catchers and then these are the charms that i got from bb crafts um i will leave the link in the description and it was in last week's haul video so that's those and Oh, what's happened to that other little bag oh and i had run out of leaves uh, the green leaves so it, while i was waiting for those to come i was using some of the metal charms which i had again from from bb crafts um and i keep my some ball pins in there so that could do with filling up and then i've got some stickers which I've handmade with love on. So, oh, and therefore, Happy Mail ones are the ones that I send out with my Patreon um, gifts. So, that is my packing box. Um, so, I did all my orders yesterday, but um, just as I'd finished, I got another order. So, I thought I'd just show you what I do. So, I'd been going through my uh, things um, and looking at what I don't use or what I've got loads of and I've got a lot of the Michael um, napkins so I made some bundles up in the shop because I know especially people in the UK and other countries can't get hold of these Michael um, 
napkins and they're absolutely beautiful. So I was lucky enough, um, my friend in America sent me lots and lots of packets of them. Um, and obviously there's, there's too many for me to use. So I thought I'd get some in the shop. So I've just used a, a recycled paper bag. Um, like so. Most of my things do come in the recycle bags if I've got any, otherwise I do end up having to use um, some see-through plastic bags. So I am just going to fold that down neatly, like so, and then I've got a piece of my brown tissue. Uh, when I run out of brown, I'm going to have green next. Um, because obviously the string that I've got left is brown so I'm thinking if I have the green tissue that will go nice with the with the brown string so I could put these in half really but I always think this is great I mean I use it for collage and that so I do put it on thinking that well the person can can use that especially if you've not got uh, like tea bags and things like that use tea bags um, it's very very similar so I just put a little one there and just feels like <coughs> wrapping for, for Christmas <laughs> luckily I do I do quite like wrapping and right side. Careful not to squash the the nut pins down. So that's that's that. And then <coughs> my table is a, just over a meter, so I always do it just over my table. Um, but you know. Yeah, I will cut it off. I was going to say I might as well put all of it on. But I can use that for uh, tops of tags. So just get the string, fold it in half. And then go around the front. Cross it at the back. Just get it into the middle. Tie it without pulling it too much. And then just tie a bow. And I will just cut that off just to just to straighten straighten it. So that is that. It's not perfect, but it it doesn't matter because it's not straight. So I got one of the tags and one of the ball pens. And I shall use one of these leaves. Oop, it's not too dark. I didn't bother putting uh, the light on. It's pretty sunny outside. But, um, I do have the blinds shut in here because my desk is facing um, the window. So any, you know, clouds or sun or whatever, it does uh, create shadows or sun streams. So, I do my Christmas uh, wrapping very similar to this. I use brown paper. Um, sometimes I use like a gold string. Um, there was a nice baker's twine with some gold running through it. And then I'll just put um, a tag on it. And then you can buy like little wooden... Uh, Christmas ornaments or little baubles or bells and stuff and then I just just attach them like that I do like simple simple wrapping it's very nice Um, I must get myself a stamp to stamp at the back I do have um, one for my other shop um, handmade by Tinker Treasure but um, I don't make the dream catchers anymore. I just sell um, the kits, so I don't I don't use this. Um, but I suppose I could take it 
off and add something else. Um, but yeah, I must get one for the other shop because then I could um, add, add that. But I don't really like to write on that because I think more well, you could use it. Um, you know, it's a nice, a nice time. So that's that. And then um, I use recycled um, card just um to put in the envelope because i don't use padded envelopes they're far too expensive um and yeah it just adds a lot more expense and it um obviously makes your parcel a lot bigger so um i was finding when i did use bubble wrap it was going to the next like postage level um because of the bubble wrap um and and the postage levels do rarely jump jump up so what i do is i put the card over where the pin is because if it does come come undone or what have you um i can you know it's not going to come through the letter so that is that and then in another tub, the same, you know, kind of thing. This is all my, um, the instructions for dream catchers and things like that. And the packaging that I use for that. But this is where I keep my... Envelopes. And... I've had all different colours, um, but I've gone back to, to white. I used to use um, a really nice blue one with blue flowers on, but the post office was having a hard time reading um, the addresses on it because the lights was shining onto the bag. Um, and yeah, I could see them really struggling and I thought, mm, I think at least with white it is um you know it, it's more readable so i just try and push push the air out make it as as flat as as possible and then i just try and sellotape it down because uh, then i think well it's not gonna <coughs> you know move around in there and and things like that so that's that and then I shall just write the address on. I always just put my name, uh, number of my house and my postcode because I don't have any stickers with my address uh, on. But again, it's it's another expense. It is something that I used to have. Um, and then you just think, is it, you know, is it really worth it? Um, you've obviously, you know, as a business, you do have to keep, you know, costs, costs down. So that's that. I'm saying it makes it very easy to to do my orders because everything is is all nice and together. So I shall um, all the stamping platform and the stamps that I've used are all in my uh, Amazon favorite list. Um, string I think I got from eBay. Um, I will have a look on. Amazon and if it is in there um I will link it in my favourites. Um <clears throat> I think these was off eBay. I think they, these are you know easy to to pick up. Um and yeah the chart both the charms was from BB Craft and I think the ball pins was from eBay but again I'll just have a quick search now on Amazon and if I can find anything that's the same I will put it in my favourites so I am going to write the address on this and trot off to the post office so thank you very much for joining me um yeah I have changed my packaging when I first started with the dream catcher shop it was all black and white which is why I had the white tissue um and then I went on to brown paper um and then now I've wanted because I used to have both shops the same um, packaging but I just wanted a bit of a, a difference so I thought the gold and white was you know the dream catchers are normally bought for presents and stuff so I thought that went better and I wanted to keep 
um, the tattered treasure ones, more, you know, botanical looking. So that's that. And I think these bags that I use, the, <coughs> the, the gold ones, I do think they look nice with uh, the brown paper and obviously they go with um, the gold stuff for for the other shop so I think that that, that all matches because I don't want any more things because otherwise I would be bursting out of this box and I do want to just keep it in one box and then it's it's a lot easier so thanks for joining me bye for now